Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about JUnit. JUnit is basically used to perform unit testing from user perspective. In JUnit, only the failed test cases will be recorded. All the methods which are to be tested, all these particular methods belongs to a class known as asset, which contains only static methods. The methods of asset class can be used as class name dot the corresponding method name or they can be referenced to static import method for example it can be import static org dot junit dot sr dot star and the corresponding methods of your asset class are the methods that are listed here asset array equals asset equals asset true asset false asset null asset not null asset same asset not same asset that let us see all these particular methods with a practical example now let us go to our eclipse i have already created a project here now let us try to create a particular package com dot klu now let us create a class here class uh, let us uh, create it as j unit demo and click on ok actually i wanted to test this particular code so i need to go to new j unit test case and uh, j unit test click on finish it has created a class with j unit test and whatever the things that you wanted to test can be tested within this particular block now the first method of your respective class is asset array equals this particular method is majorly used to test whether the two array objects are equal or not for example let me declare a particular array in expected equal to i'm taking certain elements of the array and i am going to declare one more array actual comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 now if you wanted to compare these two arrays i have a method known as assert array equals of in order to compare you have your expected array and you can compare that particular thing with your actual object this is how you test your particular array equals method after this particular thing you can right click on this particular program and click on run as j unit test because the expected array elements and the actual array elements are equal you'll be, your test case will be passed see the test has been passed now let us try to change the elements of your array and check i have i have changed the value in your expected array and the elements that you have is 1 2 3 4 6 and the actual array elements are 1 2 3 4 5 now try to now let us try to run this particular program using junit test now your test scale test case fails because the elements of this particular array object are different which is being recorded here you can see that array first different at element 4 expected 6 but was 5 this is how you can use your array equals method now suppose if you wanted to compare two different objects there is a method known as array equals now for that we will try it with a small example suppose i have string expected 
equal to I'm passing some string and I have one more string as string actual equal to the same thing I'm going to pass now if you wanted to compare these two objects in the previous case it is two different arrays that we are comparing but coming to now we are comparing two different objects in order to compare two different objects I have a method which belongs to asset class is asset equals of what is the thing that you are expecting so that is placed in expected comma what is the thing that you have to test actual that has to be placed and put a semicolon save your program and then run your test what will be your output now because the object expected is having an apple string and the object actual is also having an apple string so both the objects are equal so your test has been passed now let us try to change the, this particular thing I have given capital capital in capital A in your expected and small apple within your actual M now let us try to run this particular program run as jnit test now your test case will be failed because the case is different here which is listed here see here expected capital A but was a small a that was that, that is why your test has been failed in this particular case we can use a method known as assert same assert same is a method which is used asserts that two objects refer to the same object okay for that reason I am using this particular assert same method also assert same and now what is the expected thing expected is nothing but what you have in your expected and what is the thing that is to be compared is in your actual so here I am going to change replace that particular thing with the old value now let us try to run this particular program you will be getting your test as passed because whatever the object that you have both the objects have the same thing so your test has been passed now even if you have changed this particular thing apple assert not same you have a method known as assert not same because they are not same your test is going to pass right now see here run as jnit because what is the output that you have in your expected uh, expected string that is capital A apple but coming to your actual thing you are having small a apple string so both the objects are having different objects so they were passed if I try to change this particular thing and run this particular program now your test case is going to fail okay you can see this particular thing you can all your uh, tests that are failed is being recorded by your J unit because you can make your corrections whatever the change that you have done now let us go and discuss about assert null object for this particular thing I am going to declare a particular object known as string input equal to some apple this is what I am going to store in a particular object known as input now I am going to use a particular method known as assert null what is assert null whether your object is null or not right now what is the thing that you have stored in your uh, input object I have stored apple now if I wanted to check whether this particular method whether this particular object is null or not I have a method known as asset null what is what is to, to be tested object has to be passed to this particular method can you tell me whether this particular test will be passed or failed yes 
your test will be failed because you are passing apple to a particular object known as input but your method is is telling that your method doesn't have anything doesn't contain anything so your test is going to be failed okay if you are going to pass a null value to this if you are going to pass a null value now your test is going to be passed run as j unit test because your input object whatever the thing that you are assigning is a null value and whatever it is checking input is also a null value so your test is going to be passed now let us go and see for a method known as boolean assert true and assert false methods these two methods are based on a condition now let us see with a small example now i have a method known as assert true for this particular method i am going to pass directly the values 10 less than 20 because 10 less than 20 the condition is true your test is going to be passed am i right now if you change the value 50 less than 20 now your test is going to be failed have you seen now we'll discuss about asset faults in this particular case I'm going to give 50 less than 60. Now I'm going to run this particular program. Actually, 50 is less than 60. Okay, the test has been failed. Now let us try to change this particular thing. 80 less than 60. Your test is going to be passed right now. Right? and the last method that you have in your assert class is assert that this particular method is basically used to test to test whether the actual satisfies the condition specified by the matcher for this we'll see with an example assert that method i'm going to pass the expected value as abc comma i'm going to call core matcher dot dot is of abc there is a error so in the assert that particular method whatever the thing that you wanted to test with a specific string i have passed that particular thing to now save your program and test that particular code your test is going to be passed because whatever the things that you are expected and whatever the string that you have given as input are both the same now if i am going to change this particular thing your test is going to be failed run as j in a test test is going to be failed because whatever the value that you are going to pass and whatever it is expecting are both different in these ways we can use all the assert methods of assert class for testing purpose thank you please subscribe to our channel thank you